are you breaking one of the Ten Commandments of Social Media Etiquette? I'm Bruce Peck, I'm from Netmark.com, and today we're chatting about some of the... So I found this great article on PCWorld.com, and I think it's excellent when it's talking about uh, like social media etiquette and just some of these things that I think are really funny or like really interesting that people do. Theo Smith, what's going on? It's good to see you. Um, yeah, so I think these are pretty interesting. Looking sharp. Hey, thanks, Grant. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been quite a while, actually. Yeah, draft WIC, what's going on? By the way, if you could, uh, please swipe over, hit invite followers. I would appreciate it. This is going to be a good scope this afternoon. Um, so yeah, and if you haven't followed us yet on our Instagram, we're at underscore netmark on snap or Instagram and then at under, at netmark snap on Snapchat. So, but yeah, uh, this, this comes from an article, like I was saying from J.R. Raphael, uh, and it's from pcworld.com and, um, just see if some of these things are like ring true with, with some of like the experiences that you've had on the internet. I, it's a view. Oh, BYU College graduation day. That's awesome. So, um, but yeah, see if some of these things uh, you've noticed on social media and like your time and different things like that. So here's the first one. Thou shalt not tell thy friends too much. And uh, so I kind of I kind of took a little clipping. Wait, you don't know about it? Uh, I would if I was in Provo. Um, but like, so with the... The first one here is like people on on Facebook that tell uh, their their followers too much, and um, like I took some quotes from from the different article or from the article that I thought were were, were interesting and engaging. So it's like uh, this is what it says: oversharing can be as simple as posting your every thought and action, whether it's details of your daily jog or a photo of your favorite burrito. We get it. You like chipotle. Uh, we've seen beans and cheese before. Spare us the photographic evidence. So. Uh, like in this article, in the person's opinion, uh, I was talking about how um, with with social media, like sometimes you can overshare or you could share too much, and so um, focusing on just sharing the things that are really important or that are, are really good um, is <laughs> is is the best form of of doing it on on social media. And so number two is I, uh, <laughs> hey, thank you for inviting followers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if any of you have seen this. I think this is particularly prevalent, Theo <laughs> or and uh, and Grant. Like I don't know if you've seen this on Par or uh, Facebook, but thou shalt not turn social media into thine own personal pulpit. Uh, kind of like talking from this this perspective is, uh, and this is what it says in the article. A good rule of thumb is if your friends and family don't want to listen to you ramble on about something in per person, they probably don't want to listen to you ramble on it on Facebook either. And so it says, I like this line, I'm looking at you, Miss, Miss Self-Righteous Vegan. So just like the idea that like on, on sometimes on, on Facebook or like these different platforms, like people go on and on and on and on about something that uh, people don't want to hear about either in per person. I dug invited followers. <laughs> um, yeah, like either in person or uh, like they probably don't want to hear about it on your social media. So I thought, I thought that was an interesting point. I thought it was um, good. So number three is thou shalt not turn social media into thine own personal complaint forum. Um, so like the idea that people like sometimes, I don't know, I don't know if you've ever noticed this um, on social media, but just like when people like just post a whole series of complaints and things that they, um, <laughs> that they, are just like they've got like a beef with the world to pick you know and like every post is like that and so this is what it says barely better than the virtual preacher is the social network griper the guy or gal who uses facebook twitter or G google plus as a substitute for psychotherapy uh, people use social media for bad stuff now that's true that's true um, they definitely do use it for for a range of things um and that's that's one of the uh the social media etiquette things so um <laughs> hey amanda what's up uh, <laughs> I miss Netmark, guys. Hey, it's good to see you again, though. Rosemary Blash, it's good to see you as well. So we're going through... So I found this blog article that I think is, is pretty interesting. It's basically... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's basically like somebody ranting about what their, their woes are with social media and the etiquette. Um, so it's just like 10, 10 commandments that they came up with for, for social media. 
But yeah, and Amanda, I'd love to hear what you've been up to, too. Um, so, commandment number four is, Thou shalt not pretend thou art CNN, ESPN, or TMZ. I don't know, do any of you have, uh, do any of you have friends like that? So this is what it says, um, and, and like, Barely better than the virtual preacher is the social network griper, the guy or gal who uses Facebook or Twitter as Google+. Plus. Was it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that was the same thing. Anyway. But yeah, so like the, uh, the, the, the uh, <laughs> yeah, like the, the people that are constantly giving you, like, uh, updates of, of every game and the play-by-play -play and everything that happened in, in each of those. And so, like, um... Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I, I, I think that's that somehow people like think that they're ESPN or they're like giving you like everything to do with something on online. So, um, yeah, so I think I think that's pretty funny. Um, then commandment number five is thou shalt not pretend thou art a guru. <laughs> uh, so and and this was this was his fun fact uh, was that nobody wants to read the fun facts or inspirational quotes you post on Facebook every day. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know if any of you have friends like this, uh, but I've definitely seen different people that have friends that like, are like definitely people in my feed that are like sharing this, like, here's another inspirational quote. Um, like Einstein says this. And so it's like, but seeing 40 bazillion, uh, Einstein sayings every hour doesn't inspire me to do much other than smack my face repeatedly on the keyboard. And you can quote me on that. That's, that's what he says. But I think it's, I think he's making a valid point. The people that post nothing but inspirational quotes, it just kind of like feels like, um, I don't know, it feels <laughs> just like that. It's like, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You, you're giving me another inspirational quote with a nice picture from Canva. Um, yeah, number six, thou shalt keep thy size obs obsessions to thyself. So that, it's kind of like talking about the people that are obsessed with, with numbers um, and like getting to the, the beautiful... Uh, have you been on the Mormon set before? Uh, which one? It's cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and so it's like saying that, that you know, like the, the obsession with numbers and like growing things uh, is, is something to, to avoid, you know, because nobody else cares like how many followers you have or the, uh, the, uh, the constant like auto updating thing uh, or like the, the auto followers type of things. Uh, <laughs> number seven, I thought this was funny, like, being, like, a social media strategist myself, it was just, like, thou shalt not be a social media expert, and this is what he was talking about, uh, it's, like, with Twitter, like, they brought a new, like, the new social media expert, and it's, like, the guy, <laughs> and then he's, like, aka, uh, the guy who lost his real job six months ago, and then they all, <laughs> and he's saying, like, they, the term always has, like, these heavy air quotes, just because, like, I don't know, pretty much anyone else can call themselves a social media expert, and uh, <laughs> I don't like this last line, and trying to start painfully forced discussion by po posting cliche, cliche questions because you know engagement is everything. I don't know, like if you've looked on the internet, and like sometimes like people will put like some kind of like social media post and like ask like some stupid question after it, and it's like be uh, getting engagement. Um, and so like I thought that was interesting, it's just like not trying to be it. I, I, a social media expert and instead actually being one. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't know. I have Baby, Aseo, and Theo, and whoever else just joined on. I'm curious if you ever run into somebody that's like that on uh, on on Twitter or, or or somewhere that's just like posting something like, what you know, like asking you to engage with it. Um, it's kind of stupid. So, number eight <laughs> is thou shalt not put thy social media on autopilot. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have experienced this. Yeah, and this is this is coming from a blog post by somebody on PCWorld.com. Uh, so I'm not going to take credit for any of this. This is all coming from them. So, but I think it's I think it was really interesting. So that's why I'm kind of sharing stuff from it. So the the, the eighth one that he gave is uh, you shouldn't put your social media on autopilot. And like I don't know if you've experienced that, but like it is super annoying where it's just like thanks for the retweet. Uh, you know, when, when you know it's coming from a computer, because the idea of social media is, like, it's social media, um, as opposed to, to other, you know, like, like, just, I don't know, like, turning it into a robot, um, so, like, this is what he says about it, he says, the thing, the only thing worse than being annoying on social network is setting up your automated systems to be annoying for you, you know, 
Like, cause it's like, like you can't automate things in the right way. You can automate them so like it, it you know, like it, it like does just some of the grunt work. Um, yeah, there really should be a book for that. I don't know if it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I guess if it was my idea, but it, it's it's very true. So like, uh, you know, like having something that like automatically. Um, um, yeah, like automatically puts, uh, like the, 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 like, Hey, thanks for following. Uh, like instead like being genuine with what you're doing with following people. And if it is automated, making it like a genuine automated, like if that makes sense, like it's not just like spamming people, you know? Um, yeah. So number nine, thou shalt not share information that maketh sense only to thyself. <laughs> I like this one. I don't know. Sometimes on Facebook, this is this is what he says. So I've I've experienced this. So that's why I thought it was funny. It's like we all experienced the cryptic share in our streams. The gal who loves sending vague and context-free messages, like, "Wow, I can't believe that just happened." <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I feel like people like kind of just like expect you to to know um, that that you posted, uh, or like kind of like the context, or or like just like ask them about it. I don't know what the point is of those, uh, but they're like. Um, social media is, is context plus content. So, um, it's just like with, with this message, uh, like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. Like it's, it's not going to do anything for you, you know? And so finally, number 10, uh, from the PC world article that I thought was awesome is thou shalt not show thy friends images thou shalt, they shall regret seeing. So it's like the kind of like the mirror photos or like just the photos that shouldn't be uh, <laughs> shared with your friends, like, just shouldn't be shared, period, and so, there you have it, there you have it, there's the, the 10, uh, commandments of social media etiquette, and if you follow those, um, <laughs> you'll be well on your way to being a good social media citizen, my name is Bruce Peck, you can always reach me at bpeck at network.com, it's been great talking with y'all, talk to y'all again soon, so, see you later.